cruise ship um 11 46 in the morning and robert and i have not done a whole lot today uh we took hogan around and played some this morning dropped him off at the kids club a little after 10 had brunch i was having camera malfunctions it's working now and i'm getting ready to walk up to lido because robert is going to sign up to see if he can for the mixology thing on lido so we're gonna do that and uh, i'll take you guys along and um did not realize cruising with the two-year-old would be harder than when he was one but he is way more mobile now and wants to around so I'm gonna apologize if there's not a ton of video footage just because my hands are usually full with him and so is Robert's but I am drinking my delicious white chocolate caramel frappe from the Java Blue Cafe it is delicious it's one of my favorite things that I get on here and um, our room is a mess so maybe I can do just like a quick video of the room so like this is our door where you walk in we are in a um family harbor room which i am going to do a tour like of the lounge and stuff um so we do have our closets here let me scroll up there we go so like that top shelf's Koba stuff that shelf's mine here is rob robert's shelf we have the safe in here and then we have stuff in all three of these drawers here. So instead of like other interiors, I have three closets. We only have two. And then all of our stuff that's hung up in here. What's really cool with the Family Harbor, I'll have to put one on, is they have these really cute blue and red robes that have like little, um, like it says Family Harbor and it has a hood. All right, so you have like your snooze in, your breakfast menu. Ignore how messy the bed is. We're only getting our room um, cleaned up in the evenings. And then that inflatable bed right there is what we brought for Kova. So we could kind of put it to the side and see how he sleeps in it. And then I actually scooted the bed further this way. So we would have more walking space here. And when the we put the blow up mattress down, we put it right here. Let's see. And then this is looking back that way. I mean, it's just a small interior room, so not a lot to it. I'm trying to have it as organized as possible because we have a lot of stuff for three people. And then the typical bathroom. I have my makeup bag and medicine bag hanging here. There's more stuff hanging in here. And then the typical shower, except our like shower sit, our shower gel and stuff says Family Harbor. There we go. And we are in room two, four, five, three. I'll grab my phone and we're getting ready to walk out. It gets pretty dark in here too. Two, four, five, three. So we have Family Harbor this way. It's really cute. Horizon Fam, how you doing? That's right, folks. In a matter of five minutes' time, I will be down by the Tower Hut for our Mixology signups. So if you want to be our Mixology master for the cruise, Come on down and see me downstairs next to the tower hut for the setup happening just around four more minutes. DJ Timmy. Fova, what are you doing? Are you are you drinking lemonade? Did you eat pizza? Did you go to the kids club? 
can you look at the camera and say cheese? Are you tired? Are you avoiding the camera? There he is. What are you doing? Are you scooting? Where are you going? Go to Dada. Nah, uh, 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 uh. Do not run off. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is my parents' room 6205. It's at the very forward of the ship. Hi, guys. Hi. Come on in. All right. So this is considered an interior cabin. It's a 4J. So looking this way, it's a little bit bigger than a regular interior. They have their setup as a king bed. And then we'll look this way. So they have their king bed. And just like in our room, it only has two closets. All right. All organized. There we go. And then everything hung up in here. The hamper fits down at the bottom. Yep, a little pop-up hamper from Walmart. Perfect. And then we'll look in the bathroom. Standard carnival bathroom. It has your shampoo and shower gel. The clothesline. All the bathroom stuff. All right, and there's something special about this room. That's why people want it. It's a 4J, and that's because it's an interior with a picture window. It's considered an obstructed view because you're looking out on a uh, public deck, but there's usually not a ton of people out there. All right, and then now I'll show you how to get to this public deck. We'll not smush our finger like my mom did. <laughs> really we'll, bad. We'll not smush it. So they're in 6205, so when you come out of the room, you're gonna turn no. to no, your yeah, left. This no? This Never locked. mind, not to the left. We go to the right and go all the way to the end. Dad's gonna show us how to get there. If the other door works, it's like right outside our door. Yep. All right, and these doors can be tricky to open. There's three Especially. that you have to go out. And this is con considered a windy. secret deck, and it's very windy, so you guys probably won't be able to hear us once we get out there. All right, one of the, so that's how you get your finger smushed, is one door needs to be closed. Oh, 
of the shows, the party, the music, and more. It's our entertainment director, Dave. Here we go, the gentleman who looks out the hall of the electrical technical side of the engine room. Show some love to our ETO. It's Giovanni. 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 Come on, man. watching Zootopia, getting ready for bed. It is after 10 o'clock. We had our elegant night. I'll insert some pictures because it was impossible with how busy and crazy everything was to actually record. <laughs> so having him and trying to vlog and record has been very difficult. <clears throat> He's very into, what is that? Into Zootopia. So, um, I'll put some pictures of us from tonight and my parents and um, everything that we did. I um, I had the, ugh, this is how tired I am. I can't remember what I had. Robert had lobster, sea bass. Dad had lobster and the salmon. Mom and I both had the prime rib. It was really good. Kova had fruit. That's really all he wanted. What? <clears throat> you, you ready to go night night? Night night mama. Night night mama. He, he's ready to go night night. So I guess that is all for day two. Tomorrow we arrive at Grand Turk at like 7 a.m. So um, don't think we'll be like some of the first people getting off the boat. We're going to let Kova sleep and we will get up and um, eat breakfast and go and spend some time at the beach and the pool tomorrow. And we have to be back on board by 1.30. So we, um, we just don't really have a huge plan for tomorrow. We're not going to rush to do anything. One of the cool things about being in the Family Harbor rooms is we have the Family Harbor Lounge and we can go and have breakfast there in the morning instead of going up on Lido. And that's really easy because it's right up from us. Well, thank you guys for uh, watching and stay tuned for tomorrow, which is Grand Turk. Kova, can you say night-night? Say night-night. No. No, can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. the joys of having a two-year-old who does not cooperate and do what you ask. Good night, guys, and we'll see you at Grand Turk.